this will be my last, as I will be retiring at season's end. I feel so very lucky to have had the career I've had. 18 years ago, I made a decision to pack my car up and drive 20 hours to chase my dream. Four months later, this club, the Melbourne Storm, gave me that opportunity. I've always felt extremely grateful and a sense of loyalty to this club and the people associated with it. From John Rebo, the founder of the Melbourne Storm, to our current CEO, Dave Donaghy, and everyone in between. I am proud to have helped in the development of this club to become one of the most powerful sporting organisations in Australia. I am also proud of the part that I've played in the growth of rugby league in this, in this state. I'd like to thank our three owners, Bart Campbell, Matt Tripp and Jerry Ryan. Your passion certainly filters down. My manager, George, George Mimas, thanks to you and your team at SFX for the guidance you have given me. Thanks to my sponsors, some of whom I have been with for over a decade, such as Adidas, Channel 9 and Australian Bananas. To the fans of Rugby League, thanks for creating the atmosphere at the Games. Thanks to all our Melbourne Storm supporters who pour into Amy Park each week, but also thanks to all fans from all teams. It's been a pleasure to entertain you all. To my coaches that have helped, me shape, helped shape me into the player that I have become, from under eights at the Innisfail Brothers to the Australian Kangaroos, I thank you. To my teammates, both current and past, your contribution to my career has been huge. There are a few people I'd like to single out. Firstly, Craig Bellamy. Thanks for believing in me. And I have no doubt my career would not have been as successful or consistent if you didn't instill that work ethic in me. To Cameron Smith and Cooper Cronk, not only have you guys helped create opportunities for me on the field, but when your peers drive themselves to be the best and they continually succeed, that's infectious. This is why you two have had the greatest influence on my career. To my family, starting with my mum, my dad, and my sister Sheena. Thank you for all your support throughout my football life. Mum, you'd wash the jerseys and cut the oranges. You'd drive me to training and you'd be my cheer squad on game day. Dad, well, you put the passion for rugby league in me. Ever since I can remember, I've loved this game and that started with you. You both have made all this possible. Now I feel extremely lucky to have shared this part of my life with my children, Tyler and Jake. To be in the middle of a grand final and have your son and your daughter run past you and give you a high five while they're delivering the kick and tea, well, that's, that's a special moment that I'll, that'll I'll remember forever. Um, to my wife, Nicole, haven't we enjoyed some incredible moments? Premierships, World Cups, State of Origins. But it's been the tough times that you've been there for me most. You know, the poor performances, the selection disappointments, and the one that really hit us hard, injuries. You've, you've given me unconditional love and support. And although sitting up here and delivering this message today is extremely scary. Knowing that I have you makes it comforting. Uh, lastly, 
I'd, I'd just like to thank the game of rugby league. It gave me heroes when I was a boy and a chance to become one myself. It's given me opportunity, security, friendship and values. For this, I am forever in debt to our game. Thank you.